Hello everyone, continuing the series of weekly contest 284, here comes the third question in the queue. Also, if towards the end of the video you like the solution, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it in advance. Now let's get back to the question. The question is maximize the topmost element after k moves. Here in this question we are given an array of integers and we are also told an integer value k, which simply donates the maximum number of moves that can be made on this array. With each move, what you can do, you can remove the topmost element from the pile. The first way is this one. And the second way is, if there was any removed element in the past, you can add it back to the pile. What we need to identify, we need to identify the maximum value that will remain at the top after performing those K moves. Here they have stated few examples. I'll be walking you through these examples and plenty more. And we together will be discovering the approach. So let's quickly hop onto the PPT. Maximize the topmost elements after K moves, lead code 2202. It's a medium level question on lead code and I totally f Let's shoot for the first example. Here the elements are 5, 2, 3, 4, 0, 6. I've tried to change it so that you get a good hold of the concept and how are we actually deriving the solution. The value of K in this case happens to be 1. And in the first move, there's only one possibility that I simply remove the zeroth element from the stack, which happens to be five and five gets added to the removed element set. And what is the current state of the stack after it? Two becomes the topmost element as a result of which two is our final answer. So what is the takeaway from this example? The takeaway is simple that zeroth index cannot contribute to the answer k minus 1 index cannot contribute to the answer. Along with this, the kth element can contribute to the answer. Just remember these two points. It will help you in the further analysis. k minus 1 will not contribute to the answer and kth index may contribute to the answer. So let's proceed ahead and next we see the value of k happens to be 2. In the first move, what do I do? I simply remove this 5. So 5 gets added to my removed element set and in the next move there are two possibilities either I put back this 5 or I remove 2 which is my first element. So let's do it one by one. In the first go what I'm gonna do I'll simply remove this 2. So 2 gets removed and it gets added to my removed element stack. What is the current state of my matrix or stack? It happens to be 3, 4, 0, 6. The topmost element is 3. As a result of it, the first possibility for the answer turns out to be 3. Is there any, any other possibility that does exist? The answer is yes. Instead of removing 2, what we can do? We can put back 5. So 2 is still there and 5 was added to my removed element. And as a result, we can simply move this 5 back onto the top of the stack. As a result of it, the state of the stack is 5, 2, 3, 4, 0, 6. Now what are the takeaways again? 2 can contribute to the answer. That means there is a valid possibility that, that this index may lead to your answer. 1 can never lead to your answer. k-1 can never lead to your answer. Again from the previous hypothesis it aligns. The next one the 0th index can contribute to my answer. So this checked, this checked, this is unchecked. This can never lead to the answer. So out of 3 and 5 what is the maximum element? The maximum element is 5. We will return 5 as a final value. Let's proceed ahead and let me just change the color of pen for better understanding and this time I have the value of k as 3. I am interested in finding out those indexes that may lead to my answer. The crux of the problem is simple. In the first go what do I do? I simply remove this 5. So 5 gets removed and it, it gets added to my removed element stack and the value of k gets reduced by 1. It gets updated to 2. In the second go, what can I do? I simply remove this 2. So 2 gets added to the set. In the third go, I can simply remove this 2. So this gets added to the stack. We have elements as 5, 2 and 3 that have been removed. What is the current state of the stack? 4, 0, 3. What is the topmost element? The topmost element happens to be 4. So 4 could lead to one possibility of answer. And we can say that array of k index may lead to your answer. So this is checked. This index is checked. Now we are interested in looking out for whether 0 will, will ever contribute to my answer, 1 will ever contribute to my answer, 2 will ever contribute to my answer. So let's go step by step. 
let's try and figure out whether zero can ever be my topmost element after k operations so instead of uh, deleting uh, three what what i can do i can simply put back five let me just explain it in a better way assuming i first removed five so five was gone then i removed two two was gone and now in what is the current state of the stack the stake of the stack is four three uh, three four zero six and instead of removing three what do i do i simply put this five back onto the top of the stack so five gets added and i have consumed three moves removing five removing two adding five what is the topmost element of the stack the topmost element of the stack happens to be five as a result of which my zeroth index may lead to my answer so five can be your possible answer let's take few more cases let's check whether my first index can ever lead be my final answer so uh, let's shoot for it in the first go what do i do i remove five so five gets removed then i remove two two gets removed what is my current state of the stack three four zero six instead of removing three what do i do i put back two onto the stack so two gets added and this is my final state of the stack the topmost element happens to be two and two can lead to my answer out of these three elements which one is the maximum one five is a maximum one therefore will return five again let's draw inferences from this example k minus one index the second index can never be your answer what could be your answers uh, answer indexes zero up till k minus two which is here in this case one this set followed by the kth index and k minus one will never contribute to your answer these are the takeaways let's take few more examples here the value of k happens to be four in the first go what do i do i remove this five five gets removed second go i remove this two third go i remove this three fourth go i remove this four so what is the current state of the stack the current state of the stack happens to be zero six topmost element is zero as a result of which one possibility of answer could be zero and in this way we figured out that the kth element could lead to my answer so this is checked now let's check whether there could be a scenario where 0 1 2 and 3 can ever be my answers so let's shoot for the zeros index first in the first go what do i do i remove 5 so 5 gets removed then i remove 2 2 gets removed then i remove 3 and instead of removing 4 this time what what i'm simply doing i'm simply putting back 5 onto the top of the stack so 5 gets added back to the top what is the current state of my stack 5 4 0 6 so 5 can contribute to the answer so the next possibility could be 5 and this element gets checked that this could lead to your answer now let's shoot for the remaining possibilities and this time i want my first element to be on the top of the stack so in the first go what do i do i remove 5 then i remove 2 then i remove 3 and my current state of the stack is 4 0 6 instead of removing four i simply put back two so two gets added onto the top and with this we have successfully completed all our four moves removing five removing two removing three putting back two what is the topmost element the topmost element happens to be two so the next candidate for an answer would be two this index the first index also gets checked let's proceed ahead let's check whether there could be ever a scenario where two can lead second index could be your answer so let me just change the color of pen what i'm gonna do in the first move i'll remove five in the second move i'll remove two in the third move i'll remove three and this time instead of removing four or putting five or two back i will put back three so three gets put back and the state of the stack would be something like this three four zero six the topmost element happens to be three as a result of which we can say that three could lead to my one possibility of answer out of zero five two and three which one is the maximum element the maximum element happens to be five therefore we'll return five in short 
what things have we analyzed let me just change the color of pen for better understanding we have again analyzed that zeroth index can lead to my answer first index can lead to my answer second index can lead to my answer third index can never be my answer which is k minus 1 and kth index which is 4 in this case can lead to my answer again i am saying the same thing up till starting from 0 up till k minus 2 index inclusive it can be your answer followed by the kth index comma the kth index this becomes the crux of the problem also like there are few more cases which are corner cases let's discuss those as well here in this nums array we have only one element and k happens to be odd in nature which is one there's only one way out there simply remove this element the stack happens to be empty after this removal the answer becomes minus 1 let's take the other case where k happens to be 2 and the total number of elements that are there happens to be only a single one there is only one element what do i do in first case i remove this 5 and it gets added to my removed stack again there is one way out i can't remove more elements however i have to put this back so 5 gets put back as a result of which we can say that whenever we have k of even value and the total number of elements in my input stack happens to be 1 Uh, there is only one possibility of the answer which is that element itself at the zeroth index the other possibility where which i have want to highlight would be for k equals to any odd index and there is only single element in your input array uh, the answer always would be always minus 1 in those cases so these are like special cases for the total number of elements happens to be one even and odd for even case the answer would be the zeroth element for the odd case it will always be minus 1 to conclude it further let's quickly hop on to the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have talked here what do i do i check if my total number of element happens to be 1 and k happens to be odd in nature i simply return minus 1 pretty simple and straightforward otherwise i go ahead and create my max variable i start the iteration from i equals to 0 and i look up till k minus 2 indexes here uh, i have added a safety check math dot minimum whatever the total number of elements that we have comma k minus 1 so the loop will go up till k minus 2 indexes i look out for the maximum element in that range along with this if i have more elements present in my array if k happens to be less than nums dot length i again check a validation against nums of k in short the problem reduces to searching for the maximum element in the range of 0 up till k minus 2 comma k so this is what the problem tells us to find out max dot max of this particular range in the end i simply return the max element and let's try and submit this up accepted the time complexity of this approach happens to be of order of n the space complexity is constant time we are not using anything extra over here this brings me to the end of today's session if you enjoyed this question then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question